Well, I want to give you a little bit of a picture as to where we're headed in terms of coming back together as a unified group on Sunday mornings. Uh, the elders have met and we've set a tentative first date where we can have worship together again in person on June 7th, the first week of June. Well, I've also met with the task force to help to provide some details and guidance on what that's going to look like and, and to set some, some standards and some rules for when we come together to make sure that we're all safe. Now, I recognize that for some of you, um, these rules will seem like they're too little, uh, that we're not doing enough. And for those people, if you're not comfortable coming back during the initial phases of our reopening Baptist Fellowship, we want to let you know that we're going to continue to provide uh, content for you online. Um, we're going to either live stream those services or provide virtual uh, sermons in some way so that on Sunday morning, if you're in a group that's higher risk and don't feel it's safe uh, to be back matriculating among other people, uh, then we want to make sure that you can safely access sermon content uh, online. And so we'll continue to provide that probably for the foreseeable future. Uh, for those of you, some of these guidelines that I'm going to put together seem like they're too much. And I can understand everyone has their own level of comfortability. And so I'm just going to ask you to please bear in love uh, with other people. Uh, your participation and your adherence to these guidelines are not only um, uh, to keep you safe, but it's to keep them safe. Um, and so we encourage you uh, to just have a good attitude when we go through some of these things. So the first phase of coming together as a congregation will look like this. We will have outdoor services, weather permitting. We will start the services at 11 a.m. rather than at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is a little early to start an outdoor service. And we will keep the service to one hour. Um, we're going to encourage everybody to bring their own uh, lawn chairs or their camp chairs. We won't have any chairs that will be provided. Um, so that keeps a number uh, that, that keeps down the requirement of being able to pick up chairs and put chairs back in the building and to touch surfaces that other people uh, may have sneezed on. So we encourage people to bring your own camp chair or lawn chair and pop up canop canopy or umbrella, uh, sun umbrella, if you'd like to. We're going to be seating people um, eight, at no closer than eight feet. Uh, apart from one another. Family units will, of course, will be able to cluster together, uh, but family units will be separated eight feet apart. Masks will be required during phase one of coming together at Baptist Fellowship. Um, and we'll likely have one friendly deacon who will be re just there to make sure that, that those distance requirements are met. Uh, during the first phase of us coming together in order to make sure that we don't have to worry about infectious spread through bathroom use. The bathrooms will be closed. And that's one of the reasons we're going to keep the services limited to one hour. And it'll be focused on the message and prayer because of some of the concerns with what it means to sing. Uh, congregational singing will not be part of our first integration back in, in church. Um, if for some reason we can't meet at 11 a.m. due to weather and we can meet later on, uh, we will attempt to reschedule the, surface, uh, the service for later that day. Um, and again, if the weather doesn't permit us coming together that day, then we'll revert to online services so that people can continue uh, to access content. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a ring called the church and um, we'll make sure that we can answer those questions or you can always send me an email. Um, most of you know my email address. Um, we love you. We care for you. We're really looking forward to being able to come together again. Uh, we know that some of these uh, requirements and some of these guidelines are going to be strange. They're going to feel strange for a little while. Um, and until we can get back to a full sense of normalcy, uh, these interim guidelines will help us to gather together in a way uh, that is safe. So God bless you. God keep you. May his face shine upon you. And we hope to see you soon. Take care.